Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on converting units using a Casio FX991EX. We've got to convert the following amounts into the given units and I've chosen here five very common conversions that you may encounter and in particular the last one there miles per hour two meters per second there's a little trick to be able to do this and make that conversion really easy I suggest that you make sure you watch the video all the way to that one now all of these are going to be using the built-in unit converter so let's start off with the first one by inputting 25 for 25 inches and then it's shift and eight for the conversion now you can see here that we've got the start of the menu we've got different types of measurement here and there is more if we scroll down uh, but we're going to start with option one which is length and you can see that there are many different conversions that we can do there specifically a lot of metric to imperial measurement conversions which is quite useful obviously feel free to have a look around if you've got different types of conversion you want to know what's available from the calculator but in this one we're going to choose option one here which is inches to centimeters you can see that displayed there 25 inches to centimeters press equals we've got a fraction let's just change that to decimal SD 63.5 centimeters so again for the second one 65 for the kilogram shift and 8 to convert kilograms is a unit of mass so it's 4 you can see we've got ounces to grams and vice versa we've got pounds and kilograms so we've got kilograms so we need to choose option 4 here kilograms to pounds press equals here we go 143.3 pounds now a very common conversion here now you might know this one anyway just from general knowledge naught degrees Celsius what is that in degrees Fahrenheit so let's start off with zero scroll down as the very last option here is temperature on its own uh, option one and you can see that we've got Celsius to Fahrenheit option two here press equals and you can see that that is 32 degrees Fahrenheit maybe you knew that one already that's quite a common one to know just from memory an energy conversion now 30 joules what's that in calories 30 shift 8 to the converter and it's down to the second page option 3 for energy you can see joules to calories there is 3 equals and we've got 7.17 to two decimal places now the last one which is arguably the most useful uh, we're going to actually do a chain of two conversions in this one we're going to start by inputting 60 for miles per hour now what we want to do is to actually use the length conversion here so if you press one you can see that option seven is miles to kilometers now because we can change that and keep the same time unit we can change that to kilometers per hour just by using this conversion it will only change the distance unit which is very useful so if you just press seven that will change our answer to kilometers per hour now we can actually go then straight to from this bit shift and eight and then down to velocity and you can see here that we can change option one kilometers per hour to meters per second so we don't need to get our answer and redo it again we can just do it as a chain of two conversions there and press equals and you can see here if we press SD let's get it as a decimal 26.8 meters per second to one decimal place that's quite a useful conversion if you have to do that manually it's miles to kilometers and then to meters and then you have to change the time unit from hours to seconds here you've just got the double input get the chain there and it will convert that between miles per hour and meters per second so it's very very useful for some of the questions that you may encounter so there we go feel free to have an explore of the various conversions that are available on the classwiz fx991ex and some other models as well don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos but that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and i shall see you next time on the calculator guide